No, no, stay right here. Don't go nowhere. No, no, no I'm not going. I'm, I'm my calling the scared. cops. I don't care what. You don't take pictures of nobody. That's against the law. That's right. against the law. What's you the Mexicans law? are going to learn your lesson. Keep it up. Keep it up. What are you saying about my paper? My, You're my a Russian? Mexican. You're illegal. And that's against the law. Oh, yeah? I'm oh, here yeah? at Bank of America. A gentleman here. He's recording me and my kids. I don't know if he's illegal. I don't know if he don't speak English. But this I is against the English. law. And I'm telling him. Bank of America here in South Norwalk, where the Chase Bank is and the movie theater. And don't go nowhere. Stay right here, sir. Of course. Yeah, his plate number is A. My name is Jessica. He's Hispanic, and I don't think he speaks English. I do. Oh, you do? Good. So if you spoke English, you would know what you're doing is against the law, sir. So that is Jessica, and Jessica is a racist. Well, calling her Jessica seems um, very familiar. Maybe I, I shouldn't call her by her first name. So Miss Fuentes, perhaps is better, of Norwalk, Connecticut. That guy had only pulled out his phone and started record because the way she pulled in the spot, he thought she was gonna strike his vehicle. And then she did that and went on that racist tirade. Now, I believe Jessica used to work at the Reynolds Clinic, but that facility closed down in July. But I'd say she still does something in the medical field based on her outfit along with that uh, name badge and those Crocs. Now, when Jessica called the police on a Mexican man, she apparently wanted to get deported. I think they probably knew who she was. I mean, at the end of last year, her and her 18-year-old daughter were arrested for beating down a woman in the middle of a mall. So Jessica Fuentes, Norwalk, Connecticut is a small town, but the internet is an even smaller one. So don't be surprised if in the coming week, you get a knock on your door from something called accountability.